subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon button for the latest notifications. Good afternoon to all of you. My name is Rajneesh and I welcome to all of you on my channel Master G Rajneesh Tyagi. Dear students, this is the chapter the portrait of the lady and uh, it is going to be the last session of this chapter. We will complete it today and uh, we are going for the further paragraph right now. Here we go. Skins of the dilapidated trunk. Dilapidated means a person who is not consuming the good energy, a good source of the energy in his body. Right? Jeen Shin Jis Kwam Kaha Sakte. Skin of the dilapidated drum and sang of the homecoming of warriors. We had to pursue her to stop to avoid overstraining. Overstraining means overcharge. That was the first time since I had known her that she did not pray. It was the very first time in the life of that grandson when he saw to her grand to his grandmother that she was not going for the prayer because it was the it was the time in her life now which was uh, which what we can say that life was going to be end and uh, nothing more and uh, she could have died now because the body of that lady was dilapidated and the old straining she was not consuming any a good and good source of the energy in, in in her body that's why we can say that the lady uh, was unable to go for the prayer properly and it was the very first time in the life of that grandson when he has seen a very first time that the lady or the grandma is not uh, able to go for the prayer today she did not pray the next morning she was taken ill and in the next morning she was not uh, looking so good she was ill and uh, she was not uh, good and uh, she was in the bad condition she was not able to go properly here and well and it was a mid fever sorry it was a, a mild fever and the doctor told us that it would go and when doctor came to the house of that person and they checked and that lady that they said to the grandson they said to that uh, boy that definitely your grandma would go now she will be no more because uh, the body of this lady is not going to support her but my grandmother thought differently but the thinking at that stage also of that lady was totally different from the other people what we think at this moment we usually think that uh, oh, if we can save if we can save our life it would be good for us but that time the lady the grandma of that son was not going thinking to be like us she was thinking differently what kind of the different things she has here we go she told us that her uh, she told us that her end was near she she knew that very well uh, she told us that the end of her life is very near she is perhaps she is going to die but she told us that the end of my life is very near she said that since only a few hours before the close of the last chapter of her life she had omitted to pray and she wanted to have the last pray of her life before going to complete the chapter of her life because she knew that very well everybody knew in our life whenever we go for the death uh, we usually uh, our senses makes us understand that uh, the time of our life is very near and we are going to die similarly uh, that grandma also understood these things very well and she said to all that uh, i just want to go for the last prayer of my life i am omitted to pray she was not going to waste any more time talking to us and she did not want to waste a single minute of her life in that time because she knew that if I am gonna waste my uh, seconds right now. Definitely, I could be died any time, and uh, no one can save my life. And she wanted to involve. She wanted to fully involve in the prayer of the Almighty, in the prayer of the God. That's why she was not wasting her time to talking with the other people. And this is the intelligence of those people who knows that, and this life is actually uh, we have for the mortalness, and we have to uh, mix in the soul of the. A supreme soul we have to go there so good people always thinks about the god prayers and the good thinking at the end of the life and we should do in our life also we should learn these things from this lady that's why she was not going to waste her life or she was not going to waste her uh, time with uh, the other people by talking we protested but she ignored our protest we said uh, no grandma you're not able to go 
uh, for the prayer right now. You cannot, you are unable to go there. But she protested, she ignored because she knew that uh, if, if I will follow the instructions of those people who are standing right now in front of me, definitely it will be a great loss of my life. And she usually wanted to go there. She lay peacefully in bed praying and telling her beads. Uh, she uh, usually praying in the bed and telling her beads. Beads, I told you uh, the meaning of the beads last in the last uh, video. The meaning of the beads. Uh, what does that mean? You will have to tell me again in the comment box. Okay. So that lady was uh, praying in the bed and uh, telling her beads even before we could suspect her lips stopped moving and rosary fell from the lifeless fingers. The rosary. Uh, that uh, rosary fell down on the bed. I also told you the meaning of the rosary last video. And the, the, that rosary fell down from, from her fingers and the lips of that lady were now going to be closed. There was no prayer. It means we can understood she was no more now. She was dead. Alas, she has gone. A peaceful pella spread on her face and we knew that she was dead. A peaceful pillar on her face. The grace was almost gone from her face. And she was dead now. The life was stopped. The breaths of her life was, uh, going, uh, was completed. And she was no more. And you, it was the very bad time of the life of that grandson, that person. Because the lady who was always involved in the praying of the God was not more. And she was dead. We lifted her off the bed and uh, as is customary. Now we were going to follow the customs and traditions, what we do at the end of the life of any person. Uh, laid her on the ground and covered with a red shroud. Shroud means uh, coffin, you can say. And uh, we uh, took the body of that lady and uh, lay down the body of that uh, grandma on the ground and uh, on the earth. After a few hours, of morning, uh, we left. We alone to make arrangements for her funeral, and now we are going. We were going for the arrangements for the funeral, and uh, in the evening we went to her room with a crude stretcher uh, to take her to be uh, cremated. The sun was setting and had lit her room and veranda with a blaze of golden light. The light, the sunset, it was the time of the sunset and it was the time of uh, the pure soul. It was the time of the pure soul which was going to say goodbye to this world, to this uh, universe, to this uh, world, to this place. And uh, the, that was the time, that was the time where uh, we, we can easily could, ha we could have seen the light and the golden line in the veranda. We stopped halfway in the courtyard all over the veranda and in her room right up to where uh, she lay dead and stiff wrapped in the red shroud. Thousands of sparrows sat sc uh, scattered on the floor. Thousands of sparrows, those sparrows who, which was used to feed by that lady came to that time because they also knew that this thing, that lady who always, who used to feed, uh, feed for us all, um, is no more and she has gone. There was no chipping. We felt sorry for these birds and uh, my mother. There was no chipping. There was no noise of those birds on. They were silent because they knew that the lady is no more. And my mother fetched some bread for them. My mother fetched some bread for them, uh, usually just like uh, the grandmother did. But she broke it into little crumbs. Uh, the way my grandmother used to do and she also broke the little pieces of that bre bread uh, to those birds to those sparrows and threw it to them but what happened the sparrows took no notice of the bread but the sparrows they did not pay their any attention to those breads jo roti ke chote chote tukde tod kar unki mata ji ne jab diye to un chidiyon ne un sparrows ne bilkul bhi un tukdo par dhyan nahi diya kyun because they knew that the lady who used to f who used to face the uh, pieces of the bread to us is no more. Oh ma, oh grandma, ab nahi hai, jo hamko khana diya karti thi. When we carried my grandmother's cops off, cops off, they flew away quietly. And jab humne apne dadi ma ka antim kriya karam kar diya, to wo chup chap wahan se ud gayi. Next morning, the sweeper swept the bread crumbs into the dustbin. Or agle din, 
वो स्वीपर आता है उन रोटियों के टुकड़ों को उठा करके वैसे ही कूड़ेदान में फेंक देता है सो इट वॉज द टाइम इट वॉज द वेरी डिफरेंट रिलेशनशिप इट इज़ द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द रिलेशनशिप इन बिटवीन द बर्ड्स एंड द स्पैरोज एंड दैट क्रैंडमा एंड दिस इज द कर्माज ऑफ द पीपल वैन वी डू समथिंग फॉर द अदर थिंग्स फॉर द अदर एनिमल्स दे डू ऑल्सो जस्ट लाइक द स्पैरोज डिड and the great soul of that world the great soul of that uh, home was no more she was gone so it was the explanation the students the portrait of the lady she is no more she has gone she is dead and uh, this chapter is also completed and uh, now i'll give you the exercise of this chapter uh, in the groups uh, whatsapp groups and uh, you will have to complete all the exercise properly and also i thank you to those students who have subscribed my channel and request to those students and other people also please subscribe my channel and boost up my energy for the good video good for more good videos and stay at your home very good uh, protect yourself uh, have a great day have a great time god bless you all bye bye